Hey what's going on guys, come back again here. In this video we're going to be updating castle and rise with an hour make move function. So let me first try to explain what I mean by saying updating castle and rights or uh, if to be more specific like when exactly this castle, castle and rights are about to be updated. So if we just move the queen, uh, move, move the king from his, its initial square and then just make whatever move ob and say move it back. Obviously we can't castle either king side or queen side so that's kind of the first thing to consider if uh, we move the rook and then move it back we also uh, let's make another move we also we can castle to the side where the move where the rook has moved but we still can castle opposite side still uh, the same thing for uh, for the for this rook for the king side rook and one one last uh, probably one last uh, then, well, it's not really to be mm, that much important because, uh, like, uh, if you don't have a rook here, uh, obviously you won't have, uh, you won't be able to castle. But, uh, but just to show you how this is supposed to be working within our program, so I just want to. So can I can I bring the knight to grab a rook? Oh, okay. So uh, uh, I just realized how we can do this. So. Let's say we're just moving the pawn, it's moving something here and here, and uh, well, here we here. Oh, if, if we're not, uh, uh, if say not the queen but the knight, so the king is not exposed to check now. So we still can't cancel here, but computer has no idea. Like our chess program has no idea that kind of there there is there is no rook if we we have a castle and more right. So. Uh, we also will dis uh, would distinguish this sort of a cases. Uh, well, one little trick that I'm supposed to be showing you later on in this video. So, ju just to show you, like, all the possible uh, opportunities, uh, all the possible options uh, available to um, take uh, the castle in right away from a, from a king of a given side. So, I hope this is quite pretty clear. So, let me just close my browser and go back to my source code. Now I just want to scroll down to the very bottom of my source code, invoke the terminal in the current working directory and by simply typing make uh, I would like to compile my source code and if it compiles then I just want to run the binary executable produced by the compiler called chess hexadecimal 88. So just run it and here is here is the deal like what I've been talking about you see like even though we do our castling move yeah but uh, castling right the castle and rights didn't really change here you see like so after this castle uh white king castles uh queen side there shouldn't be this to castle and rights at all but they still are so that's uh that's the stuff to to handle here okay uh now let's probably get back to our uh, uh structure definitions and i just want to try to find the proper place for this uh, for the array that was supposed to be uh, creating just right now in order to actually uh, being able to distinguish whether the king or rooks has moved or not so well, let's probably make it right over here right over in here so how to call this array uh, let's call this castling rights okay so castling cas rights okay and I just create the integer uh, well, the integer array, array of integers, and call this castle and rights. Okay, this would be the array uh, of up to 128 elements. So just like our chessboard, and that's the reason why I want to print this near our chessboard as well. And before initializing uh, our array, I would like uh, to give you some little demonstration here. So, uh, what I want to say, so, in order to make sure that either um, the uh, queen, uh, either the king has moved or the rook has moved, or maybe the rook has been captured, uh, what we're supposed to be doing within our make move function, we're supposed to be uh, bitwise and in our castling right, with uh, the number that would have been taken via uh well just just for first uh uh i would i would like to provide the, the full uh the full syntax and then i'll show you the short version so 
castle, uh, so castle equals castle bitwise ended with castle in rights castle in rights indexed by both from square and then literally the same uh, line for the two square okay so uh, and this so we need to uh, actually initialize this castle in rights and I remember that uh, if we have so if, if we don't want to um, alter our castle rights so let's consider uh, if uh, we have king side castling, queen side castling uh, for white pieces and the same for the black pieces. Uh, in binary, this would be represented as all, uh, all ones here. So you remember, like, every right is represented as uh, 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 as the bit that is turned out. Say we just get rid of one, one of the of one of the permissions, permissions, we will have this like structure. So if we just get rid of this as well, we'll have this like structure. So these two are empty basically and now the question so what uh, uh, what kind of uh, digit what kind of number what kind of integer we need to bitwise and our castle and permission with in order to not affect it in order to not change it and this number would be all once or in decimal this would be 15 so if we just try to perform this bitwise uh, an operation will have exactly the same number because zero, zero, and zero, uh, one and one would be one, uh, zero and one would be zero, zero and one would be zero, one and one would be one. This is the bitwise operations. Okay, so whatever castling rights we had before, the same we would have after in case if we just bitwise over it with our uh, uh, all, all, all the ones or, or in decimal, this would be 15. But we need to match some cases, some different cases in, 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 with, in case of white rooks and white king and the black rooks and the black king. So the most uh, squares would have been initialized with all the ones because we don't care like if... Uh, so because they are not really changing uh, castling rights. So the only squares that would be changing the castling rights, this A1 square, let me just go to my here. So A1 would be affecting the castling rights, E1 would be affecting h1 h8 d8 and a8 that's it so the most the first uh, let me just try to uh, initialize uh, my board with the 15s uh, assuming like as if they were not affecting it so one two three four five six seven eight then I'll I'll change this one oh, sorry I'll change this one I'll change this one for the king and this one for rook and off board, let's initialize them to A's just like uh, our regular board. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, th this guy's just placeholders, it doesn't matter. You, you can make them zeros, you can make them whatever number. I'm using A's because uh, uh, I did initialize them with the off board. So, well, probably just, just to make it even, even more clear, let's just initialize them to the off board value. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So, whatever array would be creating that would be the uh, cop like the the same layout as our board array. So this right part always would be uh, kind of like uh, of board values, whatever, whatever uh, number you pick for this for those values. And now I just want four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight ranks here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So this is it. And now uh, an interesting part so I don't really need this stuff anymore so I'm just trying to get rid of this uh, and now I want to now I need to alter this squares uh, the values for the squares where we want to change our um, castling rights so let's try to go uh, step by step so uh let's start with the white king so white king has moved okay and in this case uh hold on guys just hold on a sec okay so let's assume that we have this four ones like uh all the castling rights are available just like in starting position 
And now the question, what do we need to bitwise and our canceling rights to get uh, this like position? So if white king has moved, we don't have either a, an opportunity to castle to the queen side for the white king or to uh, the queen side. We, and we only need to keep uh, the castling rights for the black king, right? So what do we need to bitwise and our uh, castle castle right so uh, just to make it even more clear uh, so this is our castle variable uh, uh, okay but just I don't know castle and here we will have the value to I'm just trying to figure that out how would it be the best what would it be the best way to write a commentary for it so obviously we need to bitwise or bitwise end this with uh, with this sort of a number in order to get this value and this is the exact value we need to uh, replace this 15 with in order to alter the castling right uh, with uh, uh, in order to, uh, to alter the castling right after it would be bitwise ended with a uh, either from square or to square so um, this number, uh, so in decimal, this number is uh, uh, is equal to three. So I just want to uh, uh, to uh, bring this. So this would be decimal representation. This would be the binary representation. Okay, and. I'm just trying to figure out how, how I can call this number the number to bitwise and castle and write with. I just need to, to find a shorter way for this. Um, um, Keen has moved. Well, basically. Um, well, let's call this move. Uh, this, well. Okay, just hold on a second. Just, I just want to pause the video because I have no idea how uh, how properly to call <laughs> to call this variable. It's not a variable; just to call this number. Well, I would probably call this just kind of move map here. So let's call this one castle right. Uh, okay. Well, probably probably I just could make this this way. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, castle right, and this one I would like to call it move map. Yeah, like this the binary decimal representation. Uh, okay. Let's go in binary and here in decimal. So this is the number that we're supposed to be uh, putting into our array basically. Okay, so the next thing would be to track the condition when uh, white rook but uh, specify the rook so mm, let's say king uh, king's rook king's rook moved let's, mm, okay so the king's rook moved so let's consider like the same uh, initial original castling right. So we need to bitwise end this with some sort of with a, some sort of a, a number. So eventually we'll have this like structure. So if king's rook move, we still can. Uh, so oh my god, I forgot which one. Uh, let me just check my castle and write. So the first bit, the first bit is 
King side castle in the second bit it is queen side castle in uh, I'm just wondering left or right hold on a sec so we get this king side king side queen side king side queen side hold on so this is king side castling right Hey guys, just hold on a sec. I really need to figure this out to make sure. Okay, guys, sorry. I just realized that I made made a mistake here. So this is actually true for the black king, not for the white king, because we have the bit number one and the bit number two representing the white king castling rights, and here we still have them being enabled. So this should be like this and respectively here should be like this and in decimal this would be so one two four plus eight and this would be 12 right seems like okay and so king side king side queen side so here uh we can't move the to the king side but we still can move to the queen side and this would be eight in decimal uh, I'm really I really hope I did didn't miss anything there uh, I'll need to check that out so in order to get this like value uh, hold on a sec what have I done what have I done yeah or yeah this is right but oh again like what have I done? We still have this black pieces. Uh, okay, and it can castle, still can castle queen side. No, not like this. It still can castle queen side. Yeah, so it castles queen side, but it can't castle king side anymore because the king's rook has moved. Yeah, now it seems to be right. And this is exact. This is the exact number. Like. Uh, to bitwise and our castling right with the only reason yeah it's not seven it's so this bit is where it's one this two plus four six six plus eight oh my god i'm not good in math uh <laughs> it's so shame on me okay eight plus uh six guys i'm sorry hold on okay yeah it would be 14 and okay now uh we need to handle the case when queen's rook moved so in this case we got a, our canceling right bit by the end it with this like number so we have we have still the right the opportunity to castle the queen side to, to castle king side because only the queen's rook has moved for the white king but we can't castle uh, queen side anymore only king side but no but no queen side okay so uh okay so eight eight plus four it's twelve plus one it's thirteen okay and now the same for the black pieces so black king moved and here we have well i, I can even give it a little space here i guess so the same stuff here so oh my god just need to make sure that the bit matches correctly so kings is the fourth bit right so one zero one one this is it so it can move queens so queen side is the highest one right yeah eighth bit yeah so it can move queen side it can, uh, for the black pieces it can't move to the king side anymore okay and this is the exact number that we have in return 
and in decimal this would be one plus plus two it would be three plus eight it would be eleven okay uh, well, kings, well I, I hope I, I just don't specify the black kings rook or well probably I should so white uh, oh in this case I need to okay let's shoot this slide a little bit even more yeah I'm really good at layout but I suck in math, definitely. Okay. So, kings. Rook has moved, just moved. And black king. Black king's rook has moved. So, here uh, we have the opposite situation so we get this like so the queen's rook has moved so no more uh, queen side castling for a black king but, but king side is still available okay and this is the exact number again this would be seven obviously okay yeah or oh, hold on a sec what did I oh my god what have I done so if black king if black king has moved no 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 this is a mistake we can't move either uh, either king side or queen side so yeah it's not 11 it's, it would be three I'm sorry guys so horrible stuff here and now black kings uh, black queens queens rook moved okay okay this like probably just okay black queen's rook has moved and here now now this like so okay again like queen's rook yeah the highest bit eight bit so yeah it's right and uh, this would be three plus eight yeah now this is gonna be eleven perfect so we've just calculated uh, the exact numbers we need to put right into right into our castling uh, a castling rights array and now the thing that we need to uh, not to mess up is the particular places assuming the board and is which means like so where, where where it starts to count its coordinates either from here or from here so uh, we got this a0 uh, uh, so, so, so we got black pieces on top and white pieces uh, on the bottom so below we, we have the white pieces right so here we need to initialize the stuff for a black king so this means that the, if the black king moved we need to place a 3 here for black king king's rook move we need to place 7 here and here 11 and respectively for the white king so if king moved here we got 12 if king's rook moved we got 14 and oh my god and if queen's rook oh my god it's not black it's white what am i doing okay white Save. So white, 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 black, black, black. Okay, so if white queen's rook moved, it's gonna be 13. So right over here, it's gonna be 13. Now, guys, let me just try to check this one more time because this 
uh, this setup is incredibly important otherwise we will never pass our perk test so just hold on a second just uh, bear with me I'll get back just right in the moment ever checking this out yeah guys I felt like I, I did a mistake here and this is really it so you see like uh, it's right for the white pieces so we have it that we're encoding so zero one uh, if white king can castle the king side so let's see so queen's rook moved we have zero one so it still can castle king side and one zero if it can't ca uh, and one zero if it can castle queen side but can castle the king side oh my god no again <laughs> so zero one uh, it can castle king side so this is possible here zero one here it can castle queen side but can't king side so but but here so we have this one zero for king and zero one for queen regardless of the position of the bits but here I just now form this so we need to say like one zero for king and zero one for queen uh, and in this case we'll have 11 year and 7 year and I just want to so I need to shift that so it would be 11 here and 7 here okay so this is really mind-blowing to be honest because you know like uh, I've been doing this uh, stuff quite pretty long time ago uh, at this moment uh, I, I was just copy pasting this uh, on my engines after uh, I've mastered this technique once and didn't come back to it so okay uh, anyway perf test will show who, who was right and who was wrong so now we need to go to our make move function in order to provide the castling rights update so let's get let's scroll down a bit and here after updating the king square we want to update castling rights and we need to do literally two things here so just as has been mentioned before so we need to bitwise and castling uh, castle um, the global castling rights of all the current board state with uh, our castling rights castling rights indexed by the from square so to handle the cases when the, either king or rook moves and the same for the two square to handle those cases when say for example knight captures the rook one or another so like this two square save and I really hope that from now on uh, it should actually uh, it really should update the castling right so let's go for testing this uh, okay I'm not sure if the current FEN is st still kind of works okay so it seems like we're castling so uh, let's start with castling king side it doesn't matter basically what side the castle still should uh, get rid of both okay okay it seems like so we had this position okay so then we go castling to the uh, where the white king is going castling to the king side and we see like no more castling is available for a white king so the same should have so uh, also make sure it has been restored yeah it has uh so let's try to castle queen side now it should be literally the same result so Castling queen side, what? Yeah, yeah, this is right. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, just white and, and uh, not available. Okay, so now I just want to get rid of my um, castling flag, and I just want to try to rook the rook. Uh, well, or uh, as far as this flag is still enabled, no, let's just try to. Well, let's first move the rook, and that would go for uh, for opposite side. To check uh, the same stuff so let's take the a1 rook and move it simply to b1 so from now on a uh, white king should be able to castle only king side and not queen side because the queen side rook has just moved so let's have a look so we got this rook on a1 
and all the canceling rights now we move this okay so we can now castle only king side you see like only king side but no queen side canceling is low perfect so now let's try to do the same with uh, with the king's rook so let's move the h1 to g1 save let's have a look so the rook moves to g1 and now we can castle king side a uh, queen side but no uh, obviously no uh king side castling okay and even if rook just drops back still the castling right uh, uh, is already doomed to be limited only to the queen side castling for the white king in the after after this move okay so um, one last uh then to check here uh let's try to capture well say this rook so i just want to put say a knight on b3 uh and i will then make a move like well i can't even not put there anything so if i just say b3 to uh a1 it will still work uh even though i don't put a piece there uh still the the, the target square would have been a bit by end with the casting rights but just to make it more user uh, uh, re readable basically and understandable uh, I need the third rank and just want to put a black knight there okay so now we have this black knight occupying the b3 square b3 square and then it captures captures the rook on a1 and we uh, no longer have an opportunity to castle queen side well, so hopefully the same would it be for the king side well, I, I believe it will okay so this is great and uh, so we can just make sure that I did restore the position okay now let's uh, check this stuff with the black pieces so um, I just want to move uh, I just not now want to make a castling move for black king so let's say e8 to g8 and the castle flag as well to move the rook along with the king so yeah yeah we got this castle move okay so castles king side black side uh, black king castles king side and both castling rights uh mm, has been got has gone basically okay and same should be if it just castles to queen side i hope this should be uh this should be it yeah it does and the next thing so now let me just get rid of this castling flag and try to move the rooks along the way so let's say a8 goes to b8 and now only king side castling should be available for black king because we just move the queen rook queen side rook okay so it still can castle king side but no queen side castling okay after moving the, the rook to b8 perfect and also let's say h8 to g8 now should get the opposite okay now we can still castle the queen side here but no longer castles to the king side and the very last test uh before we proceed let's put a knight say on uh well let's say yeah let, 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 let's change this knight so on the seventh rank there so let's change this knight with the white knight so is it gonna be changed yeah it is and now we capture from b6 to a8 so let's capture from b6 to a8 okay so capture into a8 and now it still can castle king side but queen side castling is no longer available well guys hopefully uh we did manage to update our castling rights i'm sorry this uh, was probably a little bit weird but again like uh i believe that it would be way better to just try to go from scratch explaining everything along the way rather than just copy pasting the pre-coded stuff that it's, it's, it's that it's not really that easy to understand like how it works so uh i really hope that you learned something interesting out of this tutorial tutorial regarding how to handle uh, the castling rights updates within the make move function. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.